it's important to define success for yourself because otherwise you'll continue to hit a roadblock. Thank you for tuning in to Strategy Rewind. I'm your host, Miguel LeBron from Miguel LeBron Coaching. This podcast focuses on the strategies and mindset necessary for a breakthrough moment. And maybe you're wondering how to define success, or maybe you've already figured out your definition. Most commonly, though, people define it as the American dream or being able to have the woman in the cars and the clothes and the glitz and the glamour. And oftentimes people fall into this hole, fall into this trap of defining success the same as the other person. And the truth is that the definition of success is not going to be the same for you and I because we are in distinct journeys. We are in distinct parts of that journey. It may be that you are 10 steps away from your breakthrough moment where I may be 20 steps away or vice versa. It really doesn't matter. The truth is if you don't define success for yourself, you're going to continue to hit a roadblock. So you have to be able to define it for yourself. It cannot be the definition of your parents because maybe the definition of success for your parents obviously is going to be different because of the economy, the state of the world where they were coming up, what was accessible to them, their mindset. All of these things play factor. And so you can't have the same success definition as your parents did or as a neighbor because, again, they may have certain tools or access to certain and resource or to particular teachings or just different accessibilities that you may not have. And so attempting to define success based upon someone else is, again, it's going to cause a roadblock. It's going to cause frustration. It's going to cause irritation. And it's going to attack your self-esteem. It's going to make you feel like you're not good enough, like you can't get there because there is what everyone else has defined as success. The only way to get to a particular destination is for you to define its importance, its value. And the only way to actually be able to obtain success is to define it for yourself. So I'm going to give you a definition for success that I think is a good foundation. This definition of success is one that I came up for myself, and I think it's a good foundation for success. Now, you you obviously have to work this evolve it, but I think it's a very good foundation. Success is a continual progress towards a specific yet evolving end point. Now let's break this down. I'm going to repeat it again, and then we're going to break it down. Success. Success is a continual progress towards a specific yet evolving end point. And I think this is a good foundation for success. I found myself in my life having to work out what success looked like, what it felt like. And I had to get to a point that I said, okay, let me at least define this word and then be able to build on it. So success is, number one, a continual progress towards a specific. So it has to be specific. It can't be too broad. It can't be too general. It has to be specific. Yet, number two, evolving and point. Right. So number one, it is specific and it's specific for me. It can't be specific for you. And number two, it's evolving because I'm evolving. I'm changing. You're changing. And who you are today is not who you're going to be tomorrow. Where you are today is not where you're going to be tomorrow. And so your definition of success has to be built on this. It has to be a continual progress towards a specific yet evolving end point. Now that you have that definition worked, now you can begin to say, okay, what is the end point for me? Where do I know that I've made it? When do I know I've made it? And to this, you then have to be able to not only set long-term goals where you can have success. So some end points are end points that you won't reach for another 18 months. But some end points are end points that you can reach in the next two hours. So now we start really getting into the weeds here because now that we've been able to define success, we can say, okay, in the next 18 months, I want to change my career. Okay, what does that look like? 
Now we got to get real specific. I want to stop working in retail and start working in marketing. Or I want to stop working in health and fitness and start working as a musician. I don't know, right? You want to make that shift. You get real specific. And as you go along, it's going to evolve. Meaning, it may be that you said, I no longer want to work in the health fitness industry. And now I want to be a musician. And as you proceed forward towards this end point, you then realize something. Hmm, it's not so much making music for me that makes me happy, but rather it's making music for others that makes me happy. So now, instead of being the musician in the forefront, now maybe I'm a producer or maybe I'm coaching other individuals so they can release their music. You see how it's a specific yet evolving end point. Of course, once you have obtained that end point, that is maybe you obtain that in 18 months, in 24 months, or maybe you obtain that tomorrow, whatever that end point is, that position is going to alter your perspective and force you to set new goals. But as long as you understand that success is a continual progress towards a specific yet evolving end point, it'll be much easier to have a breakthrough moment because no longer are you defining it based upon what is specific to someone else. Now you are defining it based upon your specifications. Today's conversation was necessary and I believe it's pivotal in your journey. But the question is what's next? Where do you go from here? The next step is for you to set up a free 30 minute strategy session. Head over to MiguelLebron.com or click on the link in the show notes. It's necessary for you to take all of the things you've learned and apply them so that you can have a breakthrough moment.